Hey everybody, Mike Meyer here from Mike Meyer Inc. And today we are going to talk about the lowly ball joint. The lone soldier that does all sorts of work that, well, maybe you're not really thinking about very often. Well, to tell you the truth, this bugger can make your life just a pain in the ass or it can make it absolutely great. And this is something we all have to learn the hard way. If you get one of these things, well, let's just look at this little ball joint. This is probably one of the most produced ball joints since World War II. TRW, Moog, Elgin, Howe, Coleman, AFCO, just to name a couple, make their own version of a K772. And some of them have low friction versions, rebuildable versions, mono ball versions, all sorts of great things. But it's all K772 ball joint. And most of these aftermarket kits today come with these guys. And one of the big things from a company standpoint, when we sell you your ball joint, or better yet, your suspension package, is we want the price to be as low as possible on our end so we can make as much money on you as possible. But the flip side to this, this can make your shiny new suspension just diabolical to drive. If you have a ball joint where the machining's kind of substandard, where it's moving around in its pocket left to right just ever so slightly, your car is going to hunt and grab ruts in the road and make you jump a quarter lane and you're going to have the death grip on that steering wheel and sweat and bullets every time you go somewhere and you're going to be lying to yourself how great that car is. Sound familiar? <laughs> so, as we started getting into making our own tubular arms and dealing with ball joints, we started finding all sorts of crazy variations. This batch of 100 was this size. That batch of 100 ball joints was that size. Oh, by the way, this other batch, the threads are completely different than the previous batch. We started having to figure out how to interface all these companies, different variations of ball joints, and they'll have variations within the same company product line too. So not all moves are the same. So we have to keep an eye on this whenever we sell you a control arm kit, and we have to make sure that these ball joints actually go in and fit and screw in, although seemingly a simple task. Not so much. When we create our own ball joint ring, we're here, excuse me, the ball joint ring, the tolerances in which we make this have definitely an effect on how easy it is for you to replace a ball joint down the line. If this thing eggs at all when we weld it, if it changes shape, how many different sizes it can accept, even though they're all looking exactly the same, all play into us getting you a quality suspension. So when you buy your suspension from MMI, we really try to pay attention to the bare bottom, lowly little ball joint and how that can make your car great or an utter pile. So the Mike Meyer Inc. suspensions definitely have a lot of attention put into lots of little spots, even to the lowliest person on the totem pole because sometimes they're the most important. I hope you learned something here. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch up with you next time.